All right, this is the final segment for this part of my my own little kitchen, I guess, pop up. Soon enough, I'll be popping up on the channel for other reasons, for other things that I'm doing. But primarily with this, it seemed like I was rambling in part one and part two because I was trying to hurry up and get through that so I can get to this video <laughs> because this is the video that's going to explain every single thing that I've been trying to say all along without revealing too much. So what I wanted to really highlight and talk about particularly was the fact that when I said that I was learning all of the things that I was learning, color signs, angles, whatever, angles are very important. Format is very important. So if you notice episode to episode, season to, you know, season one and season two, one thing I did was I did straightforward content where you didn't see any close-ups. Then I did close-ups from different sides, one from the right, one from the left, and one dead on to showcase exactly what was being cooked or what was being displayed. One thing we really didn't work on um, because we were trying to get the kinks and everything out with the show was displaying and plating the food a certain type of way. That's going to be a big thing in this next season because that's the thing that makes it appetizing. That's the thing that makes it interesting. It's the advertisement of what has been cooked. So that's going to be a big proponent in season three. The next thing that we're working on for season three is chopping up the segment in a way where the full course meal showcases appetizer varieties. So let's say, for example, for one video, you like this appetizer, but another video, you like this main course, but a third video, you like this dessert. Well, we're, we're doing the full length content, but we're also breaking up each segment content so that this way you'll be able to see how to plate or how to distribute it if you're doing a party. But you'll also see how to do each each individual thing just in case you want to mix and match. So there will be a full length episode and then there will be a breakup of each episode. There will be more surprises. There's certain things that Roger told me not to really say to you guys yet because... They're really good surprises that I think he really wants to kind of keep under the wraps. But we're doing a variety of things um, involving both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. I think, me personally, this was my suggestion, I think it's very important to have both because you want to reach people where they're at. Like some people can't drink and they have to be sober. Some people can drink, but they may want to have a drink with the adults, but then offer an alternative to their children. So you want to be able to give the children the non-alcoholic drink. So there's several different reasons why um, we're going to do both of those. The other thing is that we're trying to incorporate um, things that are more interactive. Um, what we want to do is we want to be able to have live segments where you guys can comment in real time with Mr. Roger Michaels doing a interactive segment like a live cooking to get your commentary. We're also trying to be very integrated on the site and we're trying to get all of these things together for season three. Season three is going to be very grand and remember it's from Labor Day all the way to Easter. That is a long stretch. That is the tail end of this year into next year. Um, past the last quarter here, past the first quarter there. So that's what we're going to do. We're trying to work on getting um, some type of parchment together for you guys. Um, we're trying to do a giveaway as well. And all these other things that are going to be more interactive to you guys as the viewer and the watcher and a member of my own little kitchen family. We also are trying to figure out what is going to be the best times for you all to see the videos, what time works for you, how long you would like our segments to be, um, and different things that you would like to see cooked. We're trying to really be integrated with you guys in this next season. We're going to have a very in-depth um, interview with Mr. Roger Michaels on the channel that is going to describe all things cooking and all things 
that he aspires to be with this project. Um, I think that that's better served for his commentary and we're putting that together as well. So there's a lot of things that are coming in season three that I believe you guys will enjoy and that you all will also be a part of and also be able to be a part of. We hope that these meals and things help you celebrate your family, help you celebrate your friendships, help you celebrate date night, and help you celebrate gatherings with your children, churches, loved ones, however you choose to celebrate and incorporate these meals. Um, as I said before, and I said a thousand times, thank you for your support. And at the end of this video, you will see more commentary. This is just my direct in person part about how the show is crafted angles different things like that where i will actually be showing you clips so again without further ado roll that clip and i will catch you guys in my next one thank you all right so here is our very first episode and um when i'm looking at the episode i looked at how i wanted to list the recipe items and I thought that I wanted to start with this format, but it kind of looked a little bottom line cut and dry. It didn't really look as interactive. And then I started doing the mirror-like transitions. And this is when I started. I started with a um, cinematic lens. I started with my Sam Yang um, lenses. And these are cinema lenses with a certain type of glass. And I just lit him directly and from underneath. And if you notice, I think it looks pretty clean. Um, it looks a little muted out. And plus, it was a time of day really worked for me here. Even though it looks a little dim, it's still present and visible. And I like the way, you know, he had his kitchen crafted. The way he has his kitchen set up is pretty good. Here's where I started doing the close-up shots. And I started doing the close-up shots with a handheld camera. So I was holding the camera for a few of these episodes. And I was going up and down, like, and then right here is a real close-up one. And that was staged to be mostly still. And I kind of went that way. So that's how I kind of started doing the format of the close-ups and then the dead-on angles. Now, with the cinema camera, that was a dead-on angle. But if you see how it switched, this is a downward angle. And this is episode 14 in season one. And if you see now, I did a dead on angle, but I did an angle down for the camera angle for him. But these are like the dead on angles that I did straight ahead. So if you notice, this is how I did the style. Now, with this prosciutto um, wrapped lemon, this is in uh, episode in season two. It was lit well. But if you look at the way that this was, this was my dead on content where I didn't do angles on this episode. I literally just did a dead on shot and let him just demonstrate it. Did no close ups or nothing of that nature because I felt like <clears throat> I wanted to try this format as well. So this is what I meant when I said about the experimental angles and different things that I was doing. And it seems you guys with your viewership and your likes are showing me <laughs> what you actually enjoy the most. So this is the reason why we're going to go interactive so that I can know what type of content you guys would like to see. So yeah, that's my time. Thank you so much. And you all enjoy the next set of episodes coming out and what we're doing in season three. Take care.